Friday night baseball under the dome at Tropicana Field. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series. Charlie. Morton, a right-hander from the Garden State of New Jersey, gets the ball here. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Lead this guy is a White strikeout ball. pitcher. Deluxe has ball. over 250 yeah. strikeouts yeah. on the season, and if he brings his A game, look for a lot of punchouts in this game here. Dan Dero, we take a look at the Rays entering play here tonight. All you can really say is they've been on one heck of a run. Maddie, this is the best team in baseball right now. I mean, just a double-digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. Troy is over, and he's got it for the first out of the inning. Now a moment here to check out the White Sox starting lineup. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Well, one man to look out for is Yonder Alonso. He's really had a heck of a year in the power categories, slugging over 500 coming into this one. That means almost every time he's hitting the ball, he's hitting it hard somewhere. Should be fun to watch. First pitch coming. Here it is. 0-1 the count. Garcia, a 5'8 switch hitter. He's a veteran of seven years at the major league level. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. And set up behind the plate is Joe McDonald, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew in this one. You know, you got to take your time and feel Joe McDonald out behind the dish a little bit. He has a tendency to move his zone around, usually set, settling in in those middle innings. You know, all you ask for an umpire is to be consistent. At times, Joe Mack is a little bit too inconsistent, particularly from a pitcher standpoint. That so it was third. a strikeout swinging. Leori Garcia okay. goes down for out I'll number two in the top half. Here's the first pitch to him. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Now here's a swing and a high pop-up drifting into shallow right field. Wendell is there and the side is retired. Down in order. go the White Sox now it's the Rays turn no score Carlos Radon a left handed Floridian will get the starting assignment Dan Plezak what's the word on him hey you can tell by this and strikeout the walk the ratio Rays. two to one the that this guy is man. more a pitch to contact guy than a strikeout walk Wendell. guy he pulls this one high and deep to right center field and this one will bounce into the wall Around second now and headed for third. And he'll get there as he legs out the leadoff triple. So he's in at third to kick off the inning as you take a look at the league leaders in triples. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Settling in now, Matt Duffy. He currently sits number seven on the AL RBI leaderboard. So a good guy to have at the plate in this situation. Yeah, that's kind of surprising to me. I mean, he's a good player, but I don't think many pegged him as one of the best run producers in the game coming into this year. But he's having a breakout year, no question about it. And guys, you take a look at the White Sox entering play here tonight. It was another loss for him last time out, and that makes him 2-8 and eight over their last 10 games. Yeah, Matty, this definitely looks like a situation where somebody's going to have to call a team meeting. I don't know if it comes from a veteran or the manager decides to close the doors for a second, but this team has not played well. They find themselves losing lately. They lost the last game. And they're going to need a spark to get this thing turned around. And with that, a look at the Rays lineup card in this one. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, Matt, I think the guy to watch is Matt Duffy, the Duff Man. He's coming off a month where he gets over 500. That's swinging it. Now, if you could do that over a course of a month, you're talking about an elite player. 
Two runs on the board after the home run by Tommy Pham. Home run number 66 on the year as the Rays move in front now two to nothing. Boy when the leading MVP candidate steps into the box I'm not sure it's wise to challenge him especially with a pitch like this but they do and he makes them pay for their mistake. He's been doing this all year long. Here now is Mike Zanino. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. Still only one out in the inning. Hit hard down the line. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. 0-2 delivery. Another one sent foul. Ready with another 0-2. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. It's never easy to rebound after serving up a two-run shot, but fit. that at bat was a good indication to me that he isn't letting it get to him. He went Robert right after said. him for the strikeout. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Daniel Robertson. He enters play sixth in the American League in the batting race. First pitch of the at-bat. Now, oh my, this ball is crushed. Look at it go! And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. So a solo shot down the line in left, and he keeps it up. 53 now on the year as the Rays have opened up a 3-0 lead. Wow, talk about a guy getting hot, right? Hits a bomb, hit one yesterday. Usually when he gets hot, he starts to hit them in bunches, and this could be the beginning of a very, very good hot streak. That'll bring in Guillermo Heredia now. Guillermo. Now that ball is smoked, carrying the deep left. So that'll stay in the park as it's off the left field wall. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Sometimes you get off on the wrong foot, and it's hard to get back on the right one. That's the fourth hit he's given up here already in the early going. He's got to find a way to string some outs together, or he's going to be in some deep trouble. Into the box, number 11. High in the air out to center field. Garcia has a play. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So three runs on four hits. No. errors and a man left on. So here's Daniel Ponca now and there you see his righty lefty splits and how they've played out so far this season. Hey we're still in the early stages in this one they're only down by a couple of runs but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Love jumping out to an early 3 nothing lead, but this game is far from over. A lot of innings left to be played. He's going to have to continue to execute out on that mound. And he fouls this one off. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Okay, here's how the race set up on defense today. And guys, I'm going to be six. locking in on Willie the Adamas. Elite Raphael. shortstop up the shoot. Young, good hands, quick feet, strong arm. Came over in the David Price trade, and we've watched him slowly creep his way to the big leagues. And a fastball's in there for strike one. 
That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Yeah, nothing better, huh, yeah. guys? I guess maybe the crack of the bat, but I'm not as partial to that as most people. He looks good and loose out there to start this one. Fouled off. Another 0-2 coming. And oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. Every pitcher looks to get off to a good start, and I'd say that he's off good. to a good start. How about the first five good. batters he's faced? Younger. Three of them he oh, sent okay. down via the strikeout. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Fouled away. Two out, nobody on. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the White Sox. They trail in this one, three nothing. Coming to the plate now. Adamas first shot for him here. That's Two hits stop. and five trips really? a night ago. Here comes the first pitch. This one's down to third. A dive and he knocks it down. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as an that infield single. And he will creep man. ever closer to that record as you see there. This hitting streak has reached epic proportions now. d -Row, this guy is just amazing right now. He's just swinging a magic wand, and it looks like there's no end in sight to this streak. Yeah, you can't think of anything else. This is national news right here. This is all anybody's talking about. When you start getting into these numbers, almost two months, and you're challenging Joe DiMaggio and the 56-game hit streak, it's all anybody should be talking about. The second for one to Abreu for the big double play. Now batting the second baseman. So base is empty now after the double play. And that will bring in the second baseman, Joey Wendell. First delivery to him on the way. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Hey, I don't know what happened in between innings, but he went down that tunnel with a few of his teammates and some coaches and found a way to regroup because he's been really good this second inning. After going out in the first, I thought... And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Little resistance there as the Rays are down on four pitches. They lead it three to nothing.